absolutely. Oh, alloy wheels, 1.3, manual gearbox, the works, and at that price. That's me, that, that's me. The five, Excuse Got me. one yet, Dad? Uh, no, no, not yet, so no, no. Mind you, there's some crackers in here. Absolute bargains. We'll soon get what we want, no danger. What's the right? It's down there, four, two, six, seven, one, two. That's the one. Dad? Yes, love? What happens if we buy a ring or? Mm. It's just that me and John, we know how you get carried away with things, mm -hmm. and we haven't got money to throw away. You hear so many nasty stories. We've been doing some research. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We went down to the police station, mm -hmm. had a word with them, got the car buyer's guide. Car buyer's... Listen, I was buying cars before you two were a nightmare in your father's wallet. Eh? There's not much in here I don't know about. There's a lot of thieves about, and they're getting smarter. Oh, and I'm not. Dad, look. What? It says of 500,000 cars stolen in one year, mm -hmm. 150,000 were not recovered. Many are disguised by the thief and sold to innocent purchasers. That's you, Dad. Get away! <laughs> Look at it from a thief's point of view. He nicks a car and then he's got to pretend it's his before he can sell it. Mm -hmm. Has to give the car a new identity. All right, all right. I'll tell you what you do, right? You make sure that the logbook tallies with the registration, the chassis and the engine number and Bob's your uncle, the car is OK. But it's not. Hmm? Anyone can still go to a scrapyard and buy a write-off, even though some insurance companies are destroying the severely damaged ones. Hmm. You then have a log book, a chassis number, an engine number and a vehicle identification plate. If they then steal a similar car, swap the numbers over, hmm. they have what appears to be a genuine car. All right, well, I mean, so what's the bottom line then? The thieves playing an expensive game with our money. It transfers the fake numbers to the stolen car and makes them look as genuine as possible. That's where the buyer can catch them out. Mm. And it's all in the buyer's guide. But if we buy the stolen car, unwittingly or not, in law it doesn't belong to us. So we could end up with no car and no money. <sighs> I think I uh, best read this after all then. <clears throat> First off, do your research. Yeah, well, it looks like you two have been fairly successful at that, doesn't it? Eh? Yeah, but it's not difficult. Mm. Decide what make and model you're interested in, right. then find out where the identification numbers should be. A dealer will tell you that. Yeah? Right, OK, well, what's next? That's all right. Um, here we go. Uh, private advertisements. Can you identify the vendor? Ooh, I like that. Eh? It's rather posh, isn't it? Vendor? Vendor? No, no. A thief will do his best to prevent you from tracing him. Mm. Tricks like using a mobile phone or a phone box mm. or insisting on bringing the car to you. View the car in daylight at the vendor's home. And make sure it is his home. Just because you meet him outside a house doesn't mean it's his. Yeah, have you two swallowed this slippery thing or what? Our brains are still in working order. Thank you. Do you they may use all sorts of excuses for not having a logbook, like sent it to Swansea or lost it, or if the name's wrong, they'll pretend it's the wife's name. Mm. And if there's been a frequent change of registered keepers, you've got to ask why, Dad. All right, all right. Hey, I'm getting the flavour of this now. <laughs> right. uh, oh, is the, uh, is the vendor, vendor, familiar with the vehicle and its controls? Mm. Well, I suppose if he doesn't know where the light switch is, it blows his claim to have used the car for years, doesn't it? Huh? Exactly. Oh, here's another one. What insurance premiums has the vendor paid? Oh, I've got that. You see, you'll have to think quickly here, because villains, they don't bother with insurance, do they? Right, again. Mm. If the seller's not the registered keeper, you've got to ask why not. Mm. And did you know, if you hold the registration document up to the light, mm -hmm. it should show a watermark with the letters DVLA written on it. Forgeries are unlikely to have that. Mm. It's better than Cluedo. <laughs> Right. right. Do the registration plates appear newer than the car? Are there too many screw holes? And do they appear to be taken off at any time? Is there a dealer's name on the plates? I don't know. Shall I go through that one? Yeah, go on, Inspector, go for it. To give a car a new identity, the mm. thief has to change the plates. Right. Mm. Now, he might use the plates from his write-off, in which case there may be extra screw holes because the original holes don't tally with the stolen car. 
and did the plates have a dealer's name on them, then they will have to remove a different dealer's name. Now that might be on stickers in the back window. So you can usually tell whether the car has its original plates. If not, ask why not. The same identification business applies to the car's windows. Mm -hmm. Many people have the registration numbers etched into the car's glass. Headlights, tail lights and sunroofs. The thief has to grind out the original and disguise it in some way. Maybe by putting a sticker on top. And they sometimes forget about headlamps. So check all glasswork. Mm. It may be that one window is a different make to the others. Why was it replaced? Sure. Can't afford to leave your brains at home, can you? All your specs. Mm. Under the bonnet, you'll find the vehicle identification number. Oh. That's the VIN number, isn't it, on that little plate? Right, let's have a look. Our friend the car buyer's guide asks, does the VIN number match the registration document? Has it been interfered with? And have the rivets been disturbed? And even, has it been removed? If the thief has one from his right up, he'll rarely be able to attach it as professionally as the original. So there may be new holes or DIY rivets. The VIN number is also stamped onto the body, not only under the bonnet, but under the floor covering by the driver's seat. So check all surrounding areas for signs of alteration. The 17 digits should be evenly stamped and match the registration document. And there's one other number to check. The one on the engine. Again, does it match the logbook? Has it been interfered with or altered? Has the engine been changed? Right, so it's overalls all round, eh? Is there anything else? Locks. Oh, locks, yes, that could be very useful, that. Right, let's have a look. Uh, let me see, locks, locks, locks. Oh, do the locks differ? Thieves often change locks when they're damaged. Oh, yes, yes, that. Do any of the locks or surrounding areas appear to have been damaged? Sign of forced entry. Mm. And check the locking petrol cap. Has it been forced and replaced? Be sure before you buy, Dad. Never feel pressured into buying. Never pay cash. The main thing is, if in doubt, walk away. Rene. Whoever you are. At the police station, we met a woman who bought a car and was told a few weeks later that it was stolen, and she didn't own it. Must be awful. It is awful. It affects you deep inside. I saw the advert in the local paper. I rang the number and the man came round to our house with the car. We paid £2,700 to a crook for a car that wasn't his. He came into our room, sat on our sofa, drank our tea and talked to our kids. Plausible as you like. We were all conned. We lost the car, all the money we'd paid for it, and our trust. We're still paying off the loan at the bank every month, and my kids have had to have medical help for the upset. It's been devastating. My God, that could happen to anybody, that. Right, time to put it to the test. It's a nice little Ford I've fixed to see. It's only just round the corner. Come on, let's go. Right. Hello, mate. Come back the car? Yeah. Little beauty she is. Right. Do you mind if I use your toilet? Sorry? Oh, uh, oh my daughter's got my key and she's not um. back yet. All right, well, it's not urgent. Uh, OK, great. Uh, as I said on the phone, the logbook's with Swansea. You know what they're like. Uh, but I can send it on to you. All right, well, can you turn me through the controls, then? Yeah, yeah, of course I can. All right. Right. OK. Yeah. The lights, uh, they're here. Oh, they're, oh, so, oh, dear. I always get those mixed up. Right. The easiest way is if you just help yourself, really, isn't it? Yeah. Best way to find out. Right. Uh, what sort of premiums do you pay on this? Sorry? Insurance premiums, what do you pay? Sir? Oh, too much. <laughs> no, a friend of mine, he does a special deal for me. I'll leave all that to him, you see. Oh. Uh, it wouldn't be the same for you. No, no. Right, let's have a look under the bonnet, eh? OK. Right. As you can see, the uh, the bodywork's just immaculate. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, not got a spot of rust on it anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I always uh, hand wash it. Cool, uh, The uh, The VIN plate seems a bit mangled, doesn't it? The what, mate? The VIN plate, I mean, it seems to be damaged. The really? little identification number plate. Who oh, is it? Um, oh, it must be when it went in for a service. Yeah, yeah, it's been service regular, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, they must have had to remove it for uh, something or other. Yeah, but there's marks around the stamped in number as well, isn't there? Oh, as I say, I'll leave all that underbonnet stuff to the garage. That's their job. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. The engine number's missing, isn't it? Oh, well, the, the, the logbook will have that on it, you see. Yeah, I'll, I'll send it on to you. I'll take your name and address and you'll have that as soon as uh, mm -hmm. you get it back. Uh, th th this front number plate, it seems to be new. Yeah, 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 the wife cleared the curb the other day. <laughs> I had to get a new one. Yeah, but the back one's new too, isn't it? I mean, 
Oh, well, I wanted him to match. Uh, uh, what, what's, what's... Oh, oh, I don't know what that is, mate. It seems to be some sort of mark here. Uh, I've never noticed that before. Uh, mm -hmm. Look, um, the, the, the number on this headlamp, it, it doesn't mm -hmm. match up with the uh, registration number, does it? The, no, the... no, no, no. Well, what it, that is, see, I've got those lights from the scrap dealer on the hill, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to get some new locks from him as well. Hey, these modern keys, they break just as soon as you look at them. Mm. Fancy a test drive. Hey, he was a candidate for the boys in blue, wasn't he? Never else for everything. That car's genuine, I'm a pink banana. We'll have to start all over again now. Not exactly, Dad. Hmm? Come with us. Oh, dear. All right. The guy who's selling this one let us look at it earlier. All right, all right, I'll give in. Do you, Wes? Go on. After you, dear sister. Thank you, dear brother. Right. Oh. The number plate matches the registration document and there's a dealer's name on them. Oh, yeah. Same as the stick on the back window and none of the locks show signs of forced entry. On each piece of glass is the identification number of this car. There are no signs of other numbers being ground off. The man who showed us the car lives in this house and was clearly familiar with the car's controls. He showed us its service history. The VIN plate is intact. The same goes for the stamped in number and the engine number, all of which match the registration document. The more documents the car has, the better. Mm. Registration, tax, possibly an MOT certificate. These can even try and palm you off a photocopy. They often steal MOT certificates because they're valuable, mm. but the numbers of the stolen ones are recorded, so if in doubt, the police will check the documents for you. Sure. You two could have a career doing this, you know. Anyone can check like this, mm. but you can always ask a qualified examiner to do it for you. Be sure before you buy. Never feel pressured into buying. Mm. Never pay cash. It's easy to trace a check. Well, if in doubt, walk away. Oh, say. Hey, hey, just a minute. This is the real thing, isn't it? We think so, Dad. Oh, where are you two going then? To get your checkbook. Money, money. 